Yeah. I just found Jenna at the entrance to the Microsoft press conference. We're here. This is E3. Technically, I'm gonna. It's not even day one, so it's basically day zero. Are you excited, Jenna? Yes. Are you ready? We've got a couple things of stairs to do. Oh, okay, okay. But it's premium seats. Made it into the press conference, and look who I found. <laughs> I think six. Oh, okay. Well, Jordan. 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 What's up? Hey. Hi. Hi. Do I look green like everyone else? Super, super green. I love green. this. This is actually my natural skin tone, so. I wouldn't expect anything more from you. <laughs> Today, we are free and proud to welcome the newest member of the Xbox family, fittingly named Xbox One X. The most powerful console ever made. Sets a new quality standard for gamers and game creators. Starting on November 7th, Xbox One X joins the Xbox One and the Xbox One S when it launches worldwide. So we just got out of the Xbox E3 presentation where I keep wanting to call it Xbox Scorpio still, So do I, but actually. it's not. It's not. So introduce yourself to my wonderful internet friends here. Hi, I'm Albert Pinello. I run console marketing at Microsoft. This is the Xbox One X. 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 There were so many DMX jokes people were making. Were they? Like, yeah, it was great. I, I love DMX, by the way, so I just want to put that out there. X go give it to you. True story. I've had I've had the old no power greater than X logo on my really? Twitter feed for like a year, and I've just been waiting for this moment. That's just hilarious. Been waiting for today. <laughs> yeah, been there the whole time. And here it is. Yes. So you guys went through so many different things today. Uh, mm -hmm. What are the high level things that everyone wants to know? Of course, the specs. Hey, I want to say it starts with the games. We had a great games lineup. We showed 42 games on our stage, the most diverse lineup, 22 console exclusives. We showed amazing true 4K games like Forza, Assassin's Creed. It was an unbelievable lineup of games. This is the, um, this is my baby. This is the machine that powers it all. It is the world's most powerful console. Six teraflops, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, 326 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. And look it, how small it is. It is the small, I will use my Aladdin joke, unlimited cosmic power. <laughs> bitty living space. We have crammed a lot of performance uh, into the smallest Xbox we've ever built. Yeah, no, it looks incredible. And then, can we show them the back of it here too? Because you guys didn't mention much about this at all. Yeah, we didn't get to talk about it. And in, in fact, you know, it shares um, that beautiful family resemblance with the Xbox One S, but inside, it's completely different. The only component inside that's shared with an Xbox One S is the Blu-ray drive. But one of the things that we wanted to do when I just talk about the care and craftsmanship that we put in was um, the port arrangement. And I know it sounds silly, but it's a level of detail that we have with the team is that all the ports are in the same place on Xbox One S. We even use the same power cable, which was a huge fight between the marketing team and the engineering team to make that happen. But it means that if you're upgrading from an Xbox One S, I don't have to look, I don't have to get behind the TV. I set this down. You just plug it in, exactly. They're all in the same ports. You can do it by feel. That's actually just really incredible right in. because I'll tell you how many times, I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only one, everyone struggles. We're like, okay, okay. is it? And I have like, what I will do is I'll use the front facing camera on my phone and I stick like it in behind on. my TV and I'm just like, like, okay, great. Got it. It's going to be the weirdest feeling because it really is. You literally just go like that and yeah. it just works. And it so you can upgrade incredible really quickly. Though. I'm, yeah, I'm, it's beautiful. I mean, compared to the Xbox One S, I wish we had one to show you guys. It is a little bit smaller. It's two pounds heavier than oh, the Xbox wow. One S. So when you pick this thing up, you're like, oh my God, it is dense. There is so much tech that we've crammed in here. And to do it with this level of performance, to keep the elegant design, to keep it cool and quiet. I think you heard us talk about things like the vapor the chamber. Vapor Sure, yes. um, which you normally see on servers and high-end PC graphics cards. There's actually a guy back at work, Bill Hovis, who had to invent a power management system that basically looks at every chip in the console and the motherboard in total and optimizes each Xbox One X individually so that it's the most efficient it can be, so we don't waste any power. Thanks, and it allows Bill. it. Thanks, Bill. Um, people's electric bills will be a little bit smaller, thanks to Bill Hovis, and it keeps all that performance in uh, in the smallest console we've ever built. And another thing that you guys mentioned, which is so exciting for people who have been Xbox fans from the beginning, we can now play old school Xbox original games. So there That's are, unreal. Look, I gotta tell you, I was sitting there in the crowd, I've been wanting to share this with people for so 
along. Um, there are guys on the team like myself that have been around since we, before yeah. we launched the original console that have wanted to see this happen. Phil's wanted to see it happen. Your discs work. You can, t you can take your discs, they work. If you bought it digitally, your digital entitlements will work just like back and pat. And you can actually system link all three generations of consoles together for LAN parties. So you can get an OG Xbox, a 360, and an Xbox One. That's right, and you can actually do LAN parties with your old disc on three generations of consoles. They know this, but I skipped out on one of my proms to go to a LAN party. I but it was a PC LAN party at the time. Okay, so good. That, yeah, it was back in the day. I've been doing this for 19 years. Wanna fight me, fight these kids. I think you guys did an incredible job at the press conference and the stage looked unbelievable. We were here in person and those screens were unreal. I apologize at home if you did not get to see the magnificence of the 4K screen we had there. Is it on your Christmas list? November 7th. $499, nothing in the world. This level of performance at that price. Uh, and uh, get one quickly, now, they're gonna go. Yeah, well thank you so much, this was awesome. Thank you. Now let's do a little slow-mo montage. Leave me some comments below and let me know what you guys think. What are you most looking forward to and what old school Xbox game are you most looking forward to playing? Backwards compatibility for the win. I'll see you guys later. Bye.